So I got diagnosed with scoliosis when I was 15. I had like a family friend notice that the symmetry in my hips were a little bit off. A month later, I went to Shriners Hospital in Tampa, which is like the top scoliosis um, children's hospital. Decided to put me in like a brace to kind of stabilize me. Traditional style bracing, either a nighttime or a Boston style full-time brace, really their goals are is to slow progression. And the goal is they apply the braces and try to stop progression during the growth phase. Um, a nighttime brace is typically only worn at night and a Boston brace is typically worn all day. Both of them squeeze, the nighttime brace also squeezes and kind of bends the patient in the opposite direction and hope to try to stop the, uh, the curve from progressing. The unfortunate thing is we don't know how very effective these braces are because there's no way to predict how much a curve will progress anyway. So a patient can put on a nighttime brace around 20, say either 25 or 30 degrees, progress to 40 degrees to get 10 degrees worse, but not big enough to have surgery, that's considered successful bracing. Obviously our goals are very different when it comes to our bracing style. We want a completely different approach in trying to actually help a patient actually reduce a curve to get a better outcome. I have a C curve, so it's in my lower thoracic region. Um, it's more towards the left side. In lower thoracic curves, or thoracolumbar, which is actually the correct term for a lower thoracic curve, they, um, they can actually, especially in the C-shaped curve, can be more, much more cosmetically affecting. It can affect posture more. Because a C-shaped curve means that the curve is asymmetrical, means there's one larger curve and smaller curves associated with it. Where like in an S-shaped curve, it's where two curves are very balanced, they're almost the same size. So you can have larger S-shaped curves and the person posturally looks better or cosmetically looks better than somebody with a smaller C-shaped curve, especially in the thoracolumbar area, and posturally they can look way worse. So when I was 15, I was about 32, 33 degrees, and it progressed just naturally from me growing. Um, I did a lot of preventative treatment, like the best I could. I did a lot of yoga seven days a week, ever since I was 15, diagnosed, hot yoga specifically, I've done Pilates, done personal trainer, I've done it all, but nothing really seemed to help. Normally when adolescent patients move into the young adult stage, they normally start experiencing some symptoms as a result of their scoliosis. So typically the most common symptom will be back pain and stiffness. And they, so they normally start looking for things to help improve flexibility, things like yoga and Pilates, hot yoga, these kinds of things. And they help patients feel better. Unfortunately, these exercises have not been shown to have been effective in actually reducing a scoliosis or even stopping, one from, stopping them from worsening over time. Because we know in the adult stage, gravity is what's causing the progression. Thankfully, I don't really have any pain. That's not what brought me to the scoliosis center, but I do want to be preventative for the future, especially with like bone disease and different things and just overall pain symptoms. But presently, I really came here for aesthetic reasons, basically like the symmetry around my hips, just because that's where my curve's really pulling. I want to better fix that as much as I can. So one of the most common motivations for treatment, especially for a young adult like Agnes, is cosmetic improvements. They want to see their, their, their body shape improve, and that's a very important thing because your body shape or your posture shape has to do with not only how you feel about yourself, but also has to do with long-term health, meaning the more asymmetrical your posture is, the more asymmetrical loads you can have into your hips and your knees into your low back, which is going to cause more pain. And most treatments will fail at this scenario because most treatments are not addressing the curve. I mean, you're never going to improve cosmetics if you're not reducing the curve size. Everything we do is designed to do that down to our brace, to our therapy, our exercises, our rehab, our chiropractic care. It's designed to get a curve reduction and then stabilize that curve reduction so the body can adapt to this new position. When I got here, it was about 44. And right now, um, post-treatment at the Clear Institute, it's about, let's say, 32 degrees. So I went down about 10 points in my thoracic region. Like, I can have us for anything else, especially in like just two weeks.